everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today we're going to talk about a, a subject that has been done to death and everyone's probably sick of it, but I've been like taking notes and, and really kind of trying to pay attention and stuff and I wanted to give my take, my opinion, my feelings about the topic and that's regarding Trisha Paytas. And um, I want to touch a, just a little bit on Mysterious's second video in the series on Trish Paytas, just a tiny bit, but we'll get to that. Now, I've written a lot of notes because I'm going through treatment right now that really messes with my memory, so please, please, please bear with me. So, um, the first thing I want to say, and this is probably going to be a little mixed up, but hopefully we'll bring it all home at the end, but I got an itch, I'm sorry, stray hair. A lot of people are... Um, so, sorry, a lot of people are saying that Trish needs to get real psychiatric help. And I agree with this. I know she said she's going through therapy and stuff, but, and I'm no expert, but as someone who's gone through therapy and is currently going through therapy, I got to tell you, I feel like it's not working. And for therapy to work, you have to be 100% honest with your therapist and she may be doing that, but I think she needs more serious help than what she's currently getting, if she's getting any at all. And this is not a slap at Trisha. So Trish fans, please don't think I'm smacking at her. I'm not. You all know that she lies a lot. She's a compulsive liar. You all know that. But I'm not ready to say that this man definitively say that this man didn't SA her. I'm not ready to say he did, but yes, her story contradicted itself a hundred of hundreds of times. Yes, she's embellished and yes, she's contradicted herself so much and it and the things she said to verify were verified to not be true and you know I understand that and I understand the um, resistance to believe her. Now, I don't believe her whole story, but I do believe that she has experienced SA and serious trauma, significant trauma. Not that one incident isn't significant, but you know what I mean, just ongoing trauma, possibly from multiple people. I think that on top of being a compulsive liar, She's also, you know, has PTSD from the trauma. It's a real thing. I also think she may not be remembering things clearly. And for some people who've gone through trauma, that image of what happened or what things happened ch can change every day. And then one day it's this way and the next day, no, it happened this way. And then the next day it's, oh yeah, it did happen that way. The trauma is... For those who don't know, trauma is hard on people. I'm sorry about that. I had to um, cut this because in addition to the memory issues I have with this new treatment I'm going through, I also get distracted very easily. And it's actually taken everything in me to stay focused. So again, bear with me, please. But So I was talking about trauma. So trauma is especially someone who's gone through multiple traumas, which I believe Trisha has, um, multiple essay events. That may be a poor way of putting it, but she's had multiple essay traumas. And trauma can one day be in your brain as clear as day. You remember it perfectly clear. And then the next day you're remembering it differently, especially if there were multiple events then you might be like, oh no, that was this person that did that thing. And that was that person that did that. And then it gets confused. And if you're voicing this and telling people about it, it comes off as contradictions and lies. It is contradictions, but it is, is it necessarily lies? Now with Trisha, I know they lie a lot. They lie a lot. And it's hard to believe anything they say because there's so much 
that's been proven to be lies in the past that and and she's done so many tacky things and disrespectful things you're like what is wrong with this person why does she behave this way and that's how I am too I'm like that is messed up. Why did this girl make that John Bonet video? Why did this girl do this to Courtney Stodden? Why does she do this? Why does she say that? Why does she offend this group and that group and this group? I think that on a regular basis whenever I'm watching YouTube because she always pops up. But then I think this girl has gone through multiple traumas. I feel in my heart she has gone through multiple traumas, probably traumas she doesn't even remember yet. And her brain is trying to work through it, but she's not getting the proper guidance to work through it. So when she voices what happened to her and contradicts herself day after day and then goes back to the original story, it's like, you know, yeah, she lies. Or they lie. I'm sorry. I know I keep getting her pronouns wrong, but in, on, on her Twitter, she uses she, her, they, them. So I don't think any of them are wrong to use. So, I'm sorry about that. Um, but, it's easy to, to just say she's a liar and she's a terrible person. And I've said that too. I, she's been very dishonest and um, she's definitely not the nicest person. But, I think she has a lot to work through. And, I don't think it's helping to to do what people are doing to her on social media has is has she asked for it yes she has and you know the, the wrath the backlash she's getting she's earned it i don't i'm not going to say she deserves it because i don't think anybody really deserves that but at the same time she does it to people you know she sends her little fishies to do it to people so what is there to believe you know like like i said i do believe she's gone through significant trauma and i think that that one part of her brain remembers it one way the other part of her brain remembers it the other way because it was long ago it was trauma our brain blocks things out our you know if she's been a heavy drinker or done any drugs really that would mess up the memory so yeah we just have no way of knowing and and because of the boy who cried wolf syndrome we can't really it's hard to believe her i don't want to say anybody who says they survived sa i don't want to call any of them a liar i don't but we know that some of them have lied we know some of them are lying about it and some of them are just flat out lying about it it's not like they don't remember it it's that it never happened you know we know this to be true and it does mess up the validity of true survivors' stories. Like when I was essayed, it was me and my entire group of friends, boys and girls, were all essayed by the same person. Now, to me, it only happened once. And so it's very clear in my head what happened. But had I experienced multiple traumas, like a couple of my friends end up, ended up experiencing multiple traumas throughout their childhood and they can't remember certain details because when we were talking to each other about it i was hearing details that didn't fit and then i would say oh well no he and, and then they're like oh no that that you're right that was the other one so and that's terrifying to hear hear that from from victims you know i don't want to call them victims survivors so anyway so now let's talk about mental illness it's not a free ticket you don't get to say, oh, that's my mental illness. Yes, I did lie about that. But, you know, it's my mental illness, you know. Because compulsive lying is a mental illness. But you can't, you still have to be held accountable. You're still responsible for your actions. Another thing about Trisha is I think that a lot of her behaviors is a cry for help. Just hear me out. Bear with me. I think it's a cry for help. She may not even realize it's a cry for help, but I think it's a cry for help. Things have happened to her. A part of her wants to know what they were and to start healing from it. But until you are honest and tell the truth about what happened to you, not to us, you don't have to tell the truth to, to, to the world on your social media, but just you have to face the truth 
and then deal with that trauma. And that's where the healing starts to come from. And it's her trauma, so it's her business. Even if she's been on YouTube saying these things happen to me, it's not necessarily our business for her to then come back and correct it and say, no, this happened to me. It's, she needs, she needs to admit to herself what really happened. And then she needs to seek help to deal with that trauma that she's not going to find doing YouTube and TikTok and Twitter and Instagram. She's not going to find the healing she needs or the help she needs until she sets all that stuff aside for a while, aside for a while, and then seeks out real help. Like my mom, she never listened to me. I, was cry I wasn't I was even crying out for help. I was just flat out telling her, I need help. I feel this way. I feel that way. I'm scared all the time. I'm nervous all the time. She would say, tell me, or if I had a really bad day and I was really depressed, take some Tylenol and take a nap. That was her answer to everything. Or life is hard. Get over it. Those are things my mom would say. And as an adult, I was able to finally get help. It only took 51 years, but I'm finally getting the help I need. And um, I think maybe people realize, the people closest to her realize she's crying out for help. But she's the money. You know, she's the money. So what is help for her going to look like? Is it going to look like our bank account's not being padded anymore? I truly believe that. You know, I... I, I I don't know. Yeah, I I believe she's the money, you know? So, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted again. So, I'm trying to avoid all the terrible things she's said and done. Um, I just want to deal with the potential or discuss the potential trauma she suffered. But, I, I want you to understand I'm not excusing any of her behavior at all. It, it can't be excused. Mental health issues, trauma, all that. None of it is an excuse for the things she said and done. Her abuse to, to Jason and to to Moses, her the way she's treated people, the, the things she's said and done. There's no excuse for any of that stuff. But I'm not talking about that stuff. Because it's really easy to, to drag her down when you start thinking about all of those things. And, oh, I want to talk, this isn't really on topic with the video exactly, but when she was on that one episode of Frenemies, when she was calling Gila a, a B and a C word, if that was my spouse she was talking to, that would, it would have been over. There would be no apology good enough. So, Ethan, you are better than me. My first boyfriend's name was Ethan, by the way. So anyway, there's a saying, hurt people hurt people. And I think Trisha is a classic example of that. Now, I wanted to talk about Mysterious T's video real quick. Um, and I believe it was the second part in the series about Trisha. She was saying that, you know, the teacher was, he is a decorated veteran, military veteran, and well-loved in the community. You know, so was... So was the, the man that hurt me and all my friends. He essayed me and all my friends. He was well-respected in the community, loved. Everybody adored him. Um, when one of my friends tried to tell her mom what happened, she told her, you don't lie about a sweet old man like that. And then she got on the phone and called all of the moms of the friend group. And then I remember my mom sitting me down and telling me, so so-and-so's mom just called and said she told her some things and uh you you do not lie about that man don't you do it and so well respected loved he was a horrible child essayer you know and uh so yeah that's the only thing really about mysterious's video i it's like like, she has no idea that people who are, and I don't really think that's how she meant it, but it was said, and I have to address it, that, because I, I love Mysterious. I think she's doing a great job, but uh, that's one thing 
that I didn't really like is that because he was well decorated and well loved and adored in the community and you know pillars of society that he wasn't capable of doing the things that he was accused of by Trisha and I'm here to tell you that any that a lot of SAers I'm just calling them that because I don't know what else to call them but they a lot of them are come off as these great guys that everybody loves and you turn around and they are horrible you find out later on oh my god he did this to all these kids do you know what I'm saying you know what I mean so anyway that's it I'm sorry and like I just with the distress and I probably didn't even cover everything in my notes let me look really quick I think actually I think I did because I got to the last page But, yeah, so I'm not saying forgive Trisha. I'm not saying like Trisha. I'm just saying, you know, it may be true what she's saying. It's possible. And I know the claims that she made were proven false, like about how there's he's got a record and everything. But that still doesn't necessarily prove that he didn't do anything. And I'm sorry. I know he's passed away. But, you know, so did the man that essayed me. He's passed away, and every day I'm happy about it. Not completely happy because I wish that someone would have listened to my friend because then the conversation with all of our parents might have gone differently. But, yeah, I... I just... I see so many broken adults now that it's really easy for me to really have sympathy and compassion for Trisha because I definitely believe that she's gone through some serious trauma, significant trauma. And I think that there's either she can't address who really did it because she's fearful. There's something scaring her, either it, whether it's emotional fear or, or what it is, it's, there's trauma there. But until she really addresses it and digs deep down with a, with the highly trained therapist and finds where those wounds are and who caused them. I just, I, I, I think that she's going to decline. So anyway, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little talk. Uh, I expect ugly comments because people, when they don't agree with you, man, y'all are nasty, but I'm going to go. Thank you so much for talking with me. I will link my essay video down below in case anyone's interested in checking it out. But um, that's all for now. Thanks. Bye.